one of wonderful. our first outings with with our son Jack here who's on the spectrum and he's a happy camper right now. After our first sensory friendly Broadway performance of The Lion King last year, we knew that there was going to be high demand for another Broadway performance in a sensory friendly format. And when we got our season together and discussed the options, we just knew that this time of year would be a really great option. And The Grinch is, of course, just such a timeless family story. It makes me feel happy that the Smith Center is willing to do this. It's amazing and it's su it makes such a big difference because we can actually all come. It's exciting. It's awesome. I wish more places did this. Yeah, this is amazing, right? This is something special. So a sensory friendly performance allows for the children to come and engage in theater life while also being able to accommodate to their own needs that they have going on. It's, it's absolutely fabulous. Me and my cousin get to spend time together. It actually was a group of us, I think 19 of us this year. So we're all excited, we do it every year. I am thrilled to share this programming with everyone. I think it is an amazing experience and I wish that I would have had it or been able to offer it to the children in my neighborhood who had disabilities when I was growing up. Come work at the, at the Smith Center. It's, it's the best place to, to work. It's very special. Um, she's a special needs adult and it just it makes us feel really good that you guys you know make provisions for us. It's great. Happy holidays. Um, something like this is such a profound experience and such a great chance for him and people like him to be able to be a part of theater which is just a, a magnificent, magnificent experience. For me seeing families come together, doing what every family in our community should have an opportunity to do. It was breathtaking, it was stunning, and it was, um, it was important. Well, we're really excited because the girls like shows, but they get really overwhelmed by noises and lights. So this is really special for us. We hope the girls enjoy it. I'm a little bit, not overwhelmed emotionally, but overwhelmed in the sense that 10 years ago, this would not, would, wouldn't be a thing that I would think would be possible. I like the Smith Center because you get to watch things that you want, like the group. So it kind of opens up the conversation for people to learn more about disabilities in general. And opening up conversations leads to education, leads to awareness, and leads to acceptance. We don't always know about how her behavior is going to be. So when we can go to events like this, because I don't want to be a distraction and take away from other people's experience. So this allows us to come and I can feel comfortable. So when she's going to tap on you, when she's going to ask your name, when she's going to want to hug everybody, I feel very welcome and comfortable. I think having these performances also opens up the community's eyes to say, hey, wow, you know, there is this whole other world out there and, you know, let's make sure that everybody gets to be a part of it. It's really a fun experience for everybody. We all have a great time. It's just the best feeling to see people you recognize, see people you love, see how happy they are to be here, and um, just have a, have a great time with all of them.